Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 4 Bike Platform Rack right here on our 2021 GMC Canyon. The Hollywood Racks is probably going to be the easiest and most affordable way to have a 4 bike platform rack. Usually at this price point you would get a hanging style rack. This gives you the stability and the sturdiness of a platform rack plus you have some other different features that makes it easier for bikes of different shapes and sizes. So we're going to take a look at some specs, some measurements, some features in relation to the GMC Canyon to make sure that you get the right fit for you, your bicycles, and your truck. This bike rack does not tilt away. That's a more premium feature you'll find at more premium pi priced bike racks. So if you do want to lower your tailgate, you are going to have to take your bikes off. So let's take a look at the way our bike is mounted to this bike rack. We have three mounting points. So that's one and two wheel straps really holding down the weight of the bike rack and supporting our frame is going to be our frame mount so this can adjust up down left right as well as around that way whether you have a step through frame a kid's bike a women's frame you can mount your bike this does have a weight capacity of 35 pounds per bike so if you have extra heavy electric bikes, this is probably not gonna be the best option for you. But 35 is the traditional bike rack capacity. So most of your bikes will be perfectly fine. Now, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take this bike off. So first we're gonna start at the wheel straps. You just press that lever and then you pull that strap up and out. And what I like to do is just swing this down underneath. That way it doesn't get caught up in our spokes when we want to take our bike off. Notice though how far in I have to reach in to access our bike. That's going to be one tricky thing with the Hollywood Racks destination. You are going to have to kind of practice, try to kind of like figure out what's the easiest way to access your bikes, your frames. So it's going to be tricky, but definitely doable. Frame out. You're going to press that button, pull that strap out all the way as you support the bike. And from here, I'm just gonna bring this through and then over our mast and we're ready to go on a bike ride. With the bike off, we can take a closer look at the bike rack itself. So first is gonna be the straps. Notice how these straps just go around your wheel. They ratchet down. This tilts back and forth for different wheel bases. Pro tip, even if your bikes are not on the bike rack, please put those straps away. That way they're not flopping around as you drive around. Another thing to look at is the way our cradles are designed. Here at eTrailer, I've started to call these the wings of the destination bike rack, just because of the way they're angled to accommodate those different wheelbases, makes them look kind of like wings. Since this does carry around multiple bikes, it does add a fair amount of length to the back of your truck. So we're gonna take some measurements to see exactly how much. I'm gonna measure right over here from the bumper to the furthest point of the bike rack, which is which are these nice white reflectors, and that sits at 40 inches of length added. So whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot, don't forget that you have a big bike rack behind you, especially if you have a really small garage, you already have a really big vehicle, so that's definitely something worth considering. Now we'll take a look at ground clearance. There's gonna be some different measurements because of the way it's shaped. Here at the center, at the end, it's 29 and a half inches. Compare that to the end of the wings where it's 25 and a quarter inches and compare that to right at the shank where it's 16 and three quarter inches. So you can see how this has a shank rise. Your bike sit a little bit further up as you get further out. That's helpful when you go up those steep inclines like your driveways or hills. When it comes to your truck though, you're a little bit higher up compared to your other sedans and SUVs, so that's not gonna be a big issue. The main issue with a really high ground clearance like this is gonna be how high are you gonna have to lift your bikes up to get onto the platform. If you do wanna lower your tailgate now, with the mast up, you can't lower it all the way. What you're gonna have to do is lower the mast. So there's two steps here. First, loosen this knob just enough, not all the way, just enough to swing this uh, anchor or the stand down. And then that will now allow you to swing this mast down. 
And you have two choices here for securing your mask. You could either use the frame mount or I personally like to use the wheel strap just to secure it. With the mask down, we can now lower the tailgate almost all the way. Let's see if we can get some more clearance here. Pretty close, not all the way down because then it's now supported by our bike rack. We don't really want that, but good enough to get almost full access to our truck bed. So that's good to see. I would have preferred to be able to tilt the bike rack away. That way I can keep the bikes on. If that's a major feature that you want, there's gonna be the Kuat Transfer V2 for bike rack that tilts down with the bikes on and you get a better chance of accessing your truck bed. What if you don't wanna take your bikes out for a ride just yet, but you also don't wanna take your bike rack off? What you can do is you can fold this up. This is also gonna be the storage position. So there's gonna be a clip of over here. Take that clip out and then rotate this bolt all the way out until you can just let it drop since it has a string there. And with that out of the way, you can now swing our bike rack up against the vehicle. Make sure it lines up with where you put that bolt out because you're gonna pop that bolt back in Tighten that down. This is very important because you wanna make sure that your bike rack doesn't swing around as you drive around. But once that's nice, tight, and secure, you can then secure it with this clip. So this is gonna be your compact portable storage position. Let's take some measurements. First is gonna be closest point. How close does this get to the back of our truck? We've got a good enough distance from our bumper to the closest point, which is going to be your uh, platform. It's about five inches of clearance, so plenty of clearance there. Length now added, though, to the back of our truck is going to be from the bumper to where that hinge is, 14 inches. So big difference compared to when this was folded down. If you don't have as much room in your garage, you can fold it up. The bummer is you'll have to take your bikes off, obviously, but it's nice to have that compact option. But what is, this, what is it like living with a bike rack behind your truck? Well, if you look straight on from the bike rack, you can see how it doesn't go above your truck bed. So your rear window is completely visible. Your taillights are visible also. Some things it does cover though, is your backup camera sits right over here. So you are gonna cover your backup camera with this folded up. Your license plate will obviously be covered whether you have your bikes on or not. So with that backup camera, you'll still be able to see behind your window and with your rear mirrors. But if that's gonna be a big issue, you can just go ahead and drive around with the bike rack down. Let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. This has a two inch shank fits right into our two inch hitch receiver on our truck. And then you have an anti-rattle bolt and a lock. So Hollywood Racks has this set where you can use a cable lock with the anti-rattle bolt lock that helps you secure both your bikes and your bike rack. Definitely something worth looking into. Now, you get a tool to tighten this down, but I recommend doing what I do is I use a three quarter inch socket that tightens it down very easily very quickly, so much easier to do. But it, with that in place, let's do a little shake test. So, I, so you know what I mean by anti-rattle. As I shake our bike rack, just to simulate that roadway and road vibration, I'm really just moving the truck at that point because that connection is secure between the bike rack and the hitch receiver. Very important because when you have your bikes on a platform rack, you wanna make sure they don't get any extra rattle from an improper fit. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. So my personal thoughts about this bike rack, especially in relation to all the other bike racks I have to work with here at E-Trailer, is this is probably gonna be the best affordable four bike platform rack. You saw all the different features there. It definitely can carry your bikes from point A to point B. Now, some issues may come up, like what if you have a heavy electric bike? What if you wanna be able to tilt away? 
What if it's too difficult to reach over to the end of your bike rack? For those, you can have a more premium bike rack, which is gonna be the Kuat Transfer V2 4 bike rack. You will help solve all those different issues, but again, at a more premium price. So you have your pros, you have your cons. If you want something even more affordable, you're gonna be looking at hanging racks or even a tailgate pad. Perfectly good ways to carry your bike, but with the Hollywood Racks destination, you have the stability of a platform rack, you have the versatility for different types of bikes at a really good price. So right here, right now, was a quick look at the Hollywood Racks destination four bike platform rack here on our 2021 GMC Canyon. My name is Evie Angeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.